well lads, today I have a bang of a video for you. I put a lot of effort into editing this, took me about two days. On a sad note, I just want to say, I didn't record my mic audio while I was recording this video. Um, so I do my best to give you updates as the video goes on. My first priority was to get a base down so I could snowball as fast as possible. So I went to outpost and I farmed all the barrels around the safe zone. After I placed my bag near outpost, I noticed this guy shadowing me, so I tried to bait him with a yoko to make him shoot, so the outpost turrets would shoot him. After being an outpost bandit, I was deciding where to place my base and I noticed these two guys looking for me, I think they were trying to camp me, so I just let them pass. After I grabbed that guy, he still came back to outpost and started to be really annoying for some reason, so I was forced to turn off game chat. At this point, I decided to place my base between train yards, outposts and airfield and there was also quite a few bases nearby with big groups and I thought that would help my snowball go faster. First thing I did after placing my base is roam the area. I went to my neighbor's compound to investigate and I found this rev kid. After I depot my stash loot, I heard shots down the hill from my base. Turns out there was a decaying base, so I went down to investigate. Now I did check the decay in base, it was pit clean, so I waited around to see if anyone shows up. Not too long later, two gate kids showed up.
Now, I just want to say, for some weird reason, the server was quite laggy, my bow shots were delayed, and in worst cases, it wouldn't shoot like you see in this clip, and it costed me this socket. <laughs> Not too long later, block crate dropped at airfield, so I went over with the nail gun to see if I can make a play. At this point, I was quite mad, so I decided to go back with two balls to see if I can make a play, but then this happened. Now after I lost that fight, I was mentally defeated, so I went to take a break, get some food. When I came back, I heard a raid, so I went to go grub. I went back to see if I can find any traces of loot. Then I found this guy. Now that I've acquired a Tommy in a DB, I didn't want to lose him to a grub. Since there was a lot of grubs around my area, I went out with a bow and cleared them all out. While I was grubbing with the grubs, I saw this guy get taken down by a pig.
after successfully exterminating all the grubs, I went to recycle and to research DB. After taking care of a zero IQ door camper, I went back to my stash to pick up my flamethrower so I can commit to doing flame raids later in the day, but then I went back to his base door camp to return the favour. I quickly want to cut in here and say my DB didn't shoot the second bullet, it did the whole animation but it never shot, I have the issue with bows on the server too. Too long later, I went to Lot Crater Airfield, but then someone took Heli and it crashed in the safe zone. So I went right over there to grub. This full metal right here literally sat in the safe zone while his friend got grenaded and looted. Also this naked picks up an LR kit so I grabbed him. I'm not sure why people play like this. After placing down my tier 2, I went to go look for a compound to jump into, but then I heard a raid, so I went to investigate. The raiders seem to have all left, so I decided to pick their python turret so I can get all the ammo to use real guns. Once I depoted all the ammo, Lockrate dropped to airfield, so I headed over. On my way there, I saw this guy. I went back to depot all the sulfur loot and decided to come back to airfield with a DB to make the snowball even sweeter.
Bot Slayer 55, I just want to say, you got absolutely pooped on. Right after I depot the loot, there were shots outside, so I went to go snowball some more. Now, that guy was quite literally an invalid machine. Also, I wasn't able to loot him. I have to be honest, that was the first time I've ever seen someone spray and pray in Rust. I wanted to go back and loot all the bodies, but I noticed an airdrop. So I went over there instead. One of the guys took the airdrop back into his base, so I decided to check with the grubs in the area.
Not too long later, I went to go roam and saw this decaying base. Then, I saw someone placing a stash. I decided to let him pass here so I can loot the stash so he wouldn't know in the future I'll be able to loot other stashes. At this point, I started to work on my base, I added honeycomb and the first floor. All of this was to increase the raid cost so I don't get wrong raided, since I did make a lot of enemies in my area. My neighbours kept coming over to grief me, but if I have to be honest, I didn't mind the free kits. Now that my base was more secure, I took out my flamethrower and looked for a base with a wood door. Once I was two doors in, I heard them place a sheet door, so I just depoted my flamethrower and went to get revenge on my neighbour who was grieving me when I was building up my base. I then also paid my other neighbour a visit for shooting at my twig when I was building up my second floor. I was AFK in base watching Hell's Paradise when I heard shots, so I headed over to investigate.
I was beginning to get door camps at this point, so I went out one final time while I waited for locked crate. Lock Trey dropped to airfield again, so we headed over to make some plays. I instantly left my base to go over on train yard after being outplayed so I could do the puzzle and get some extra comps. While I was researching a high wall and a weird gate, I heard someone taking heli, so I decided to steal it. After I stole the heli from someone, no one did counter, not even the people who tried to take it. I'm not sure why, maybe they're scared, but I won't complain about free loot. Right after I stole heli, I took a short break, then went for Lockray at airfield.
for the record, I just want to say, I haven't used AK in a while, and I was a little bit rusty with it. The guy in the tower never peeked me. That was the only time he shot at me in the entire time me being a lot crate. And that was the last time he shot at me too. If I have to be honest, the guy in the tower, I just deemed him as my protector. The watcher on the wall. I wanted to build a compound, so I drank a pure tree tea, so I can farm as many trees as possible in the shortest amount of time. Just before I crafted my gates, I heard shots near my base, so I went over. Immediately after I depot the guns, I heard it rain, so I went to go counter. Once the area calmed down, I made it my priority to finish my compound. I chose to build a humbug design instead of a normal shooting floor since I wanted to try it out and see if it was any good. Just wanna say, if you did make it this far in the video, thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. Also, everything you've seen here transpired within one and a half days. And once this goes up, I'd be working on part two. And yeah, that's about it.